you're not if you're not interested if you're interested in tech, just skip part one. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna like put a note. Part one. If you like NASA, not otherwise skip to part two. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I call it NASA and politics. <laughs> God. Uh, but you by putting that link up, man, I'm passionate about space. No, I mean, no, I I, 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 I'm with you. It's like I, 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 I. For, if for no other reason than eventually Earth is going to die, I think we need to be exploring space, figuring out how to survive out there, doing all these things, not waiting to the last minute. Because the reality is most of this work takes generations, if not millenniums, of building on itself. Uh, if, if I, But, yeah. That's, I mean... All right, we're going to put all the Apple stuff for iWorld, and then... But I wanted to talk about BlackBerry, and I think because uh, okay, well we'll skip over to the to the BlackBerry stuff. Uh, okay. St I know that. Look, this is a dark time. Uh, I'm not, Rem is still profitable. Let's let me just say that Rem is still making money. This is predominantly a media thing and a pundit thing, and um, this actually happened to Apple, where the, it was just unfavorable media. Unfavorable commentary. Well, no, 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 personally, I don't think the, the way this. For those of you who are wondering what we're talking about with BlackBerry here, this is recent, it, yeah, yeah, it's is being reported that Rim is way. losing money with the playbook. Personally, I don't think that's a bad thing because if you actually read in the that's particular good. of the story, their plan was to set it out to be a loss leader, and why they didn't quite get that right. Rim is a company with enough capital that they can learn from their mistakes, try this two or three more times, and figure out what they need to do to get that to stick. And you know, and and that's something that actually worked very well for Android. Motorola basically gave away the first droids. They were being like given away, but they made it stick. And now everybody wants droids. You know, it's like all, all they have to do is get the formula right. And get it in enough consumers' hands that you know that's not a bad that's not a bad formula that that yeah. formula has been done by Microsoft, yeah. Apple, Motorola, HTC. You know that it's it's being looked upon. How stupid are they? That's kind yeah. of the nature me, of the let industry. Let me say this because a lot of people attack Rimdo, and, and, and it's especially I find Apple pundits doing this. Oh. Programmers complain about the fragmentation in black. I'm so sick of the word fragmentation. <laughs> fragmentation, to me, in empirical evidence suggests that its philosophy of fragmentation, meaning translation, customization of products, and not a common denominator, i.e. Apple's philosophy, has proven to win out long-term versus short-term. I don't care that 15 million iPods or iPads that sold or whatever. Right now, it's great, and Apple's in the is in, in the limelight, you know, and, and, and all this good stuff. But it is slow to other things, and I know ten people now personally that are now fed up with their their iPhones and they're going to Android. And why are they going to Android? Because Android can do more that they've discovered on their own. Okay, I don't own an Android phone. I own a Palm, so it's not me that's you know, say, hey, I've owned, I've owned. No, it's, I, I, I know that consumer well, because that consumer is my flatmate, Tiny. He started on iOS, and within eight, within just under two years, it was between 18 and 24 months, he had gotten so sick of yeah. all, of all, and when he finally switched, when he finally went and bought a Nexus One, he just like, every, every day, he was like, Oh, I'm so glad. I, I did not realize he couldn't do this. He could, but every day he was telling me, I can do this, I can do that. Like, really, you couldn't. I, I, was, it was, I was oblivious because yeah. I was already on it. And here's, and, here's what, and here's what Apple pundits don't understand, okay, <laughs> is that most consumers are not thinking long term. They're not thinking, oh, I'm going to stick with Apple and iOS for the rest of my life and, and, and uh, worry about continuity and uniform. No. I mean, they are, i.e., like John Gruber and, 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 and company. I, I haven't yet to meet a consumer that goes, yes, I'm buying this iPhone because I'm doing a long-term investment. Uh, I, I expect all my future iPhones to behave the same as this one. Hello? What? That is a contradiction to even ingenuity and change. Because sometimes you have to break the mold to get a better change to become more efficient, 
Wait, 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 wait. Bit, did you just agree with me on what I think's wrong with Apple? Apple used to be that thing. Hey, wait a minute, we had a whole app iWorld show. I know, and, and even diehard Linux people have thanked us for that one. <laughs> yeah, it's like... The old Apple that we were talking about in the old ways um, were very much, they had a lot of ingenuity. The, the thing of it is, is that a common, common denominator does not win now. I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead and make a, a, a ton of money right now, which I, I know the bottom line is. But also, in making money as an, you know, an investor or a business, you also have to think long term. And customization and a consumer, I'm sorry. I don't know any consumer that buys a phone and says they're going to stick with this operating system for the next five versions of phones. A aside so, from Apple Zealots, yeah. it doesn't because exist. Apple's like, you know, like, ooh, shiny toy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, they look at it and say, well, you know what? I'm going to, uh, I, this phone does what I need right now, and it does it very well. And well, no, and honestly, I think that's the mentality that the average consumer adapts. Because the thing that's in the back of the mind is the average consumer is next month they're going to be better. Next month they're going to be better. So honestly, at the end of the day, they they to but make a purchase at all. Next month is be okay, yeah, at the end of the day, to make a purchase at all, they just set all of that aside. Uh, for a device that's good now, and, and like a few, like next month, okay, that's a piece of crap. Okay. Yeah. And, and at the end of the day, what they do to wind up making a purchase is they set all of that aside and go, I have this many dollars, this one works. Here you go, go away. That, that, that's the, that is the transaction at its basic. They don't care about the philosophy, open versus closed versus draconian versus soft versus soft. All they care about is I push the button, it does what I want, and I can afford it. Okay, good. The consumer's not going to go, the consumer's not going to go, oh, well, this Android phone uh, does this, and then I expect this, uh, in other words, I expect all these great features that are normally hardware-driven to go onto another phone that, that the consumer's going to say, well, I like this because this has got better, more hard. They're not going to say, oh, where is the uniformness in this? I mean, they're, you know, uh, they're, they're looking at it like, this phone did me well for this two-year contract, but now I want something more than do this. Why would why would the expectation carry? I just don't. I, I, cell phones, even before we even got to all this touch stuff, never operated that way. Blackberries uh, had very different tactile. They would they would have one app, uh, one way of doing something and getting emailed, and another model had another way of doing it. And you didn't you didn't have people like bitching. But it's always these Apple pundits uh, that come out and go, oh no, this is. It's like looking and comparing everything through an Apple lens, which is total horseshit. You know, <laughs> and, 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 and yeah, I, I'm, I'm an Apple. I'm an you, Apple. you know what? I just thought of something for this. It's like, good God, I myself do not try to look at other products through a RIM lens or a Microsoft lens or an Apple lens. I don't automatically start writing an article or an email or start talking based upon uh, a, a bias of some sort to some product that that that, I, I, that I'm going to use Apple as the template to which I compare all others, or I'm going to use the playbook to which I'm going to compare uh, all others. It doesn't make sense. And the, and the and the topic, of course, is rim, and we've digressed a lot. But mark my words, BlackBerry's problem right now is the identity with on their phones. Their phones are the biggest thing, and their 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 original thought behind the playbook. Make it a very own. What? What? I didn't say anything. I mean, I hate hearing bit, bit, bit. That was a second ago. But it's <laughs> wow. Ricky. Anyway, all right, so um, the, the thing of it is that the playbook which was originally designed to work in tandem with the, uh, a Blackberry. And that, to people, go, oh my god. How, how, how could you do that? You didn't have email or other stuff. Completely oblivious to enterprise and, and, and BlackBerry saying, well, really, our identity and, and, and our security is a concern at this point, and we need to, uh, right now we want to tether it. Uh, we, we don't, you know, it's two, two points uh, of failure versus one. On so that, that note, now, I, I think something BlackBerry desperately needs to do is the same thing Lenovo did when it took over IBM from IBM, when it took over the ThinkPads and all of that. 
one of the things BlackBerry needs to do is they need to create a subline. They need to create a this is our consumer line that's for these people and this is our enterprise line and they need to brand it differently. Like you go to Lenovo now, you have the ThinkPad and the IdeaPad. And it, right. it's a clear distinction. This is this world, this is this world. In RIM right now, that doesn't really exist. They could yeah. easily do it by just creating two two lines of products. Yeah. This I mean, one isn't think for that's you. <laughs> But see, I was going to get at, see, like, the Apple plans was like, oh, there's fragmentation of BlackBerry. Yes, there's different versions. I've actually programmed for BlackBerry before. And and they have different market share, just like Android. And does it, isn't it ironic that we have all these planets, and yet Android just keeps getting more and more developers, more uh, and more, right? It's because they understand that, look, this I'm phone sorry, is it, extremely different from another Android phone, but guess what? A lot of consumers like it because it does something very well. That the consumer wants. Well, no, and that, like, that like actually it's, goes it's like right in line. Com- let's bring everybody down to this common element. It's like, it's like um, in the education system. We must dumb down the rest of the students to the lowest learning students so that we can all move up at the same time. Well, not a bit, and that's directly tied to something we skipped over. You know, the HTC status, for all intents and purposes, even though that's in no way made by anything to do with the Zucker Pope, that is a Facebook phone. HTC's making it, they're using the Android platform, but it's designed to be a Facebook appliance device that yeah, happens to that's be a phone. awesome stuff, man. You don't, you don't, you, you, iOS is always going to be a common denominator operating system. As in, 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 in Predominantly, the original. I left. I left the iPhone because of the call performance. And again, I always invite people to come down to Houston and try it out. My wife, though, although I asked her, because and, and I'll give her a story. She has a coworker that's tired of her iPhone. Drops calls too much. And um, <laughs> I was looking at other phones, and she and, and, and her coworker wanted to know what phone I use. I, I said, look, I use the Palm Free. And I'm honest with people. I said, WebOS is the top mobile OS, but it is probably the worst ecosystem. It doesn't have, it doesn't have, you know, if you're into downloading apps and playing games and all that stuff, it's not yet fully cooked yet. You know, there's, the, the web OS is in a, is in a transition period. Uh, if, you, if you need to do basic things, it's like, oh my God, look, ask her what she wants to do. What's her, what is her expectations for a mobile phone? There's probably she'll end up going with an Android or something like that if she's that if she's that upset with with uh, iOS. Um, I, I'm just I'm flat. I'm a big WebOS fan. But I, you know, and, and, and I honestly, work. I'm glad. I, this lens and say, you know, even though uh, it's not my flavor, you know, for damn consumer. Huh? It, it, even though WebOS is not my flavor, I am glad to see that HP is following through. I honestly yeah. think yeah. HP is going to spend the next 24 months making. WebOS stick, I think come end of 2012, mid-2013, towards Christmas of 2013, it's going to be a three-player ballpark. It's going to be WebOS, Android, iOS, maybe, maybe on a long shot Phone 7, but I'm not seeing it right now. Yeah, and these people are talking about, oh, iOS is faster. And and see, I think that what people don't understand when they look at WebOS, because I, 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 my web, my Palm Pre responds faster than my, my, and this is Kirk Hardware to Hardware, was like, I had a 3G and a 3GS, and my Palm Pre, uh, a WebOS outperformed iOS in response to this. I think what it happens is that it's perception. People aren't used to a card. The card comes up and it launches and goes. Whereas somebody hits an icon on, on um, iOS and then it, it launches. But I want I want iOS users to do something because this was my problem with iOS. I'd launch an iOS application and, and, and start touching, you know, immediately because it does push. iOS pushes, but if you start doing stuff on it like right away on the push, you don't get a response. There's a delay. It was just like when XP booted up. It cheated. Guy, it pushes a UI to you, but then there is, it's still loading the full application and yet in response, and I always hated that crap. I was like, boom, here it comes, it, nothing. Oh, and then now it goes tick, 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 tick. iOS, one of the biggest things, it, it get, and that's when I have my HTC Evo. Android even outperformed in responsiveness to my, to my 3G and 3GS at the time. And um, I could get re- application responsiveness first. I don't give a crap. If you fool the human eye and think it's loading faster, I have just not my iOS experience. And my wife has an iPhone 4, and my wife will tell you she hates to drop calls. 
cables and it doesn't perform everything. But she, you know what? I asked her, I said, well, do you want to go get an Android phone when our contract expires? And she goes, no. This is what I was going to say. She goes, she goes, no, I'm going to keep the iPhone 4. I said, okay. You, you obviously told me that you're unhappy with the, the call performance and you don't like how it behaves, this and that, with, with, with the phone. Why do you want to keep it? She goes, well, I like the looks of it. It's nice in my hand. And it's, I, I said, okay, it's fair. Fair enough. Okay. So my wife is going to, my wife's opportunity cost is that the feel and look of the phone outweighs the performance for her and, and, and actually being a phone. So that was her statement to me like a few days ago that she's going to keep her iPhone 4. Now, our contract doesn't expire until January, but we were talking about phones because she came to me and said, my coworker is tired of her iPhone. It's not doing anything she wants it to do. It's it, lots of problems, lots of drops of calls. She wants to move to a different phone. And this is what inspired this conversation. So while her coworker may switch, my wife is, I guess, going to keep her phone for the looks and aesthetics and things like that. Fine. That's a consumer preference. You can't say the right or wrong on that. Now that's yeah. that's something my wife wants to do. Good, you know, good, good, you know, good for her. The, uh, but I know so many users that are these Apple pundits. Oh, WebOS has no responsiveness. I I would just say you're you're freaking crazy. You're well, no, no, no. What they're probably talking about the very first WebOS device, the one Palm put out, was ridiculously underpowered. It lagged. We're talking about the touch. And no, no, I, I, I know. I, 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 I played with that when I was at Best Buy. For those of you who don't know, in about a month we're going to be doing a Kindle review because I, I went and bought a Kindle, uh, and I'm going to actually be putting it through its paces. But I went and played with uh, uh, HP, you know, tablets and the WebOS things, and I see what you're talking about. It kind of irked me a little bit because I'm not a gesture person. I just don't like that UI. But I was like, if you love that UI... It is a good OS. It's, but it's, it's also a very Spartan environment right now, but that's something that since HP is determined to make it stick, will change. It may take a year, it may take two, but that will change. Right. There, are, there are bugs with WebOS and, and uh, uh, HP has acknowledged that in a memo that, they, that there are problems. There are bugs with my my Palm Pre has some bugs in it within WebOS. I, I, I can admit, but if the argument is responsiveness, they're crazy. And I think it's just because of the eye perception. WebOS runs on cards. The card loads and then it comes up. I guarantee you, when that card hits your screen, it's freaking ready. It's not like iOS where I hit the icon, and the UI is pushed, and then maybe a second or, or two, I can start using it. When that card is loaded, which is a is is either in some cases, maybe faster, maybe iOS may be faster in other cases, depending on the application. But I guarantee you, it's, it's, you're going to have the same response time. And if it's if you're talking about that you're just used to these stupid icons and the clicking stuff with that, because iOS, to me, is the slowest navigational system I know. Now, I, I, Android, Android, I know the this is an Apple proponent, people. It is. It is. <laughs> iOS is the slopes to navigate. Okay, I don't like Android because it is clunky. I want Android to have navigation of task switching and task killing native to it versus a third-party tool. It, it, that, that is my gripe with it, is that I think it would flow much better. It has, it, I love, it, bit, I it and, has native task switching, that drop-down thing to switch between yeah, the active things. Uh, you, I find it sufficient. However, I know what you're talking about because if you're doing a tremendous amount of multitasking on Android Fast, you do want to out download App Kill, which is that yes. manual kill thing. And, and you're right. It would be nice if there was, as part of that drop-down switch menu, a little X next to each one you could just push and say, uh, never mind, I don't want to switch to you and stop you, just die now. It's, that would be useful. You're right. Yeah. And, and see, like WebOS, like the card, you select the card, process kill. And, and, and see, RIM, getting back to RIM, QNX behaves very much the same way. You can flick it away, they have all the gestures that will kill it. it. Again, you like gestures. <laughs> I, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's not the gestures, it's that. I wouldn't say it's a gesture. I could have a button, it doesn't. What I'm saying no, is that. No, no, no. You would not would, be as happy minute, with a little X yeah. as you are with the swoop. My you wouldn't be. I don't have to do a flip. If it had an X at the right corner, it's fine. What I'm saying is that 
it takes minimal amount of effort to get to a global view of my application for Rev. WebOS and, and, and I guess the QNX. QNX and WebOS are the fastest way to get to a global view of applications running. Yes, QNX and WebOS behave very similarly. And, and versus iOS, stupid freaking home button and all this. No, no, we should be fair. I, iOS <laughs> has adopted the Android fun. thing now with iOS five. They now have the drop down of your running in the background tasks. They've they've. They realized the home thing was stupid. They realized they cloned the wrong Android feature. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's so stupid. On iOS, you know, with the home button and then holding it. To I mean, good God almighty. And task switching on iOS is terrible. So, well, see, what, what they did, well, here's what the thing. In Android, the multitasking is handled by that drop-down menu from the top. Android has that where you press the home button and you get the last six applications, yeah, but it's kind of a you're recently yeah, we'll launched. That, I think, on one show. It, it, yeah, it's 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 not a your active applications. It's a you're recently launched. For your recently launched, you only want to see your last six. For active applications, you don't want to be scrolling through the things. And I think Apple realized, shoot, we cloned this wrong. <laughs> it's like it's like to me the iOS progression has been. It's like it's they yes they were first, but when they came out first they had the wrong ideology everything going to Safari and all that and then the Android and everybody else gets and, they, and then it's like them catch up. That's correct. It's just exactly the way you said. And I think that's always been a problem and it's the common denominator effect that's that's happened. And I'm sorry, I will never subscribe and I will counter argue any Apple pundit. I don't care how popular they are. They're full of crap with this whole freaking uniform and expecting a damn operating system to behave the exact same way on every device, then you're full of crap. And you have, I'm sorry, there's no, in, 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 there's no inventiveness, there's no customization, there's you, there's a loss of efficiency. Because well, no, I say that, that, that was one of the reasons. I, efficiency takes a back seat to the common denominator. Everything innovative will take a back seat to the common denominator because if you have to wait for the entire platform to move up in unison to one to the next level, you're full of crap. Well, no, that, that, that was one of the things, that was why I took note of Android when it came out. Within three months of Android coming out, you had, you, you had what everybody was calling fragmentations, but you had three different flavors of Android. This is the way we think it should be, this is the way we think it should be, this is the way we think it should be, and it was, let the consumer fucking decide. Let the consumer decide which one's best, which one sells best, which one they want. It's like they didn't try and shove any particular one down their throat. HTC thought it should be this way, and then we had Motorola come out the next quarter. It's like, but within a year, we had Android competing against itself. Mm -hmm. for some, which, which is part of why it got so crazy and innovative for a while because it was oh this is our flavor and we and we're actually better than Samsung and we're better than Motorola and we're better than HTC and so on and so forth and it just drove it like a wildfire. It was like pouring yeah. gasoline on it. Yeah. And and, and and people don't people I don't think understand that and you know with Android, I like Android's model. I mean I think that they've got the right idea. Um, what they want to do, and I'm not, see like people say, oh, well, Apple users tend to go to WebOS if they don't like iOS, because it's got the same Apple OS thing. No. I don't consider WebOS, like, uh, what is, number one, let's, what is Apple OS? Because my definition of Apple OS is the old school Apple, not the new school Apple. So, um, I'm not with WebOS because of the common nominator. WebOS has, WebOS oh. has, what? He, what? Just, he, just, he just booted a Mac. <laughs> that's that's going to heal up, but that, that Apple's dead. Well, WebOS embraces the digital records. Like, wait a minute, wait a minute. You see a problem with Content Avenue? <laughs> yeah, Any, anyways, what were you saying? That, uh, well, I didn't, what was y'all, I didn't hear what y'all said. What was uh, your, he, 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 he was just agreeing with you. It's like, you know, it's like, the new Apple is that we skip numbers, Final Cut 10, and yada, 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 yada. It's like... Um, it's like, it's like, uh, WebOS, it, 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 I don't go to WebOS because it's Apple Alaska. I mean, I don't know what the new definition is, because if, if you're saying Apple is a new definition of Apple, then I have gripes with it. No, I'm with, I'm with WebOS because it does things very well. It's, it's much more efficient than iOS. I, I, I pick WebOS over iOS. I'm not, I'm not, oh, with iOS and I want an alternative. No. WebOS, in my opinion, outperforms WebOS as 
as an operating system. Not with application ecosystem, obviously. But I don't need all these pet rock applications and games, and I don't need to hold up my iPhone to buy a Starbucks well, coffee. Well, well, you don't, you don't need your mood like, phone? You don't want to hold your phone and it blinks a color and tells you how you feel? <laughs> You know, it's like, yeah, I'm going to go to Starbucks and put my phone up to buy a cup of coffee. You know, give me a break. But anyway, um... Uh, you, you laugh at that, but PayPal put a, an app out. For the, that's, that's like the thing. Everybody is trying to turn our dang phones into our wallet. That's... <laughs> <laughs> the thing that is, is WebOS does many things well and, 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 and better than iOS, and that's not the reason why people switch uh, to, from iOS to WebOS. Well, it's like Apple OS and all that sort of stuff. Um, no, I don't oh, think it's installed WebOS on third-party devices with the OpenSDK. Huh? Yeah, you can actually install uh, WebOS on the um, on like an old computer with a pad drive somewhere because it's an open SDK. It has a virtual box image. You can just install on that. <laughs> I, I, on that note, I cannot wait for somebody to take HP on their offer to license WebOS. No, they probably will. I mean, web, see, that's what they've done. See, they've changed around CEOs right now, and um, I think HP is extremely serious about it. No, no, no. They, they, they already said that we don't yeah. have any takers yet, but come on. We're, we're willing to let you make WebOS devices. They just won't be an HP WebOS device, but they'll be a WebOS I, device. I know. That's awesome. See, I think that, 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 um, that like, see, WebOS embraces jailbreakers, i.e. homebrew. HP even took things openly from Homebrew. What does Apple do? No, you jailbreakers are evil. You suck, jailbreakers. And then oh. they stand on stage and say, by the way, we now have your feature. <laughs> See, Apple's like, you suck, jailbreakers. We're going to put you in jail. We even went to the, to the courts to shut you down. Oh. And, we went to, and we went to D.C. and tried to make you criminals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't tell anybody that we actually hired a couple of them because they know how to do shit better on our own operating system than we do. Shh. 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 It's a secret. <laughs> yep. Shh. Shh. That's the 